the first time the patient has facial pain, they are unable to understand why they have the facial pain. They are even unable to think that this is facial pain. Initially, they think it is either tooth pain or a gum related pain or ear pain or something like that. And it comes for just such a fraction of a second that they do not know what it is and it goes away. So, they just ignore it. When this happens a second time and a third time, then they start becoming a little more aware. This is something that is recurring. Then they start paying attention to the pain, what kind of pain it is. When it happens a couple more times and it becomes more severe in intensity, they think, should I take a painkiller? What kind of painkiller should I take? Should I apply some ice fermentation or should I try some hot packs or something? Will that relieve the pain? So, in the initial first few days or maybe a couple of weeks when the pain begins, all goes into actually the patient trying to come to terms with the facial pain and for them to themselves understand what kind of pain they are having. Once they realize that this pain is here to stay, though it comes intermittently, it is here to stay, then they realize that they have to visit a doctor. Typically, if the pain is in the lower jaw or in the upper jaw, they visit a dentist or if the pain goes towards the ear, they might visit an ENT specialist. So, the dentist or the ENT specialist do their job, they find out, they evaluate and then over a period of time, they realize that the pain is not to do anything with the ear or with the tooth. 